Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero. Now this strategy guide, some of you may be familiar with. I'm going to show you how to beat this game on very hard difficulty, level by level. Today we're going to be tackling the first stage. We don't need that strategy guide because this video is going to be much better. This is my original copy that I grew up with back in the day. This game is very near and dear to my heart. Released October 1st, 1997 to a sea of bloodthirsty fans who were eagerly anticipating the very first Mortal Kombat adventure game. Now, with that said, without further ado, I give you Mortal Kombat Sub-Zero Mythologies on the hardest difficulty, which I'm going to show you it actually does make the game a little bit easier. So I just press the start button. There's two level skips in this game that if you're playing on very hard, it makes them much easier to do. Also, the, the enemy's reactions for me is a little bit easier to maintain on very hard difficulty. Now our first mission is to steal the sacred map of elements. I will succeed. Your mom will succeed. Oh, I'd be in toxic already. It's a single player game. I apologize. Let's go. So jump kick. Jump kick, jump kick. Sometimes that guy will get you, just keep jump kicking. That's the secret right there. Do jump kicks to that. Sometimes you'll get a hit. Even the world record holder gets smacked by that dude sometimes. Throw your low kick out right there. Again, jump kicks will help you out through this. Just jump, avoid these guys. Jump on the ledge, very carefully jump down. Get that. Now, if you're gonna kill these guys, high punch, high punch, uppercut, high kick. That is the easiest way to kill. Now I'm going a little bit fast, so let me explain where we're at so far. When you start the stage, okay? When you start the stage, let's pretend this is the top level. When you start the stage, running jump kicks like this will oftentimes go over enemies or jump kick them out of the air. And when you run into attack an enemy to kill, the fastest and easiest way for me personally is to throw out run at them directly throw out two high punches into an uppercut into a high kick just like that throw the kick out that'll drop that easy peasy lemon squeezy this enemy is oftentimes either right here or He'll be right about here. Now, this is your first battle with Scorpion. Multiple ways to do this. If you are new to this game, I don't know if this works on any other difficulty other than very hard. If you are new to this game and you are struggling here, you can throw out low kick and he will run into it every single time until he's dead. Now, alternatively, oh crap. Alternatively, you can uppercut him here as he's standing up. Wait a second, throw the ice. It will always catch him on the wake up. As you can see, if you try to do other things, you're gonna fail. Now, if you kill him, you have to fight him later on. I would recommend if you are new to this game, you do not kill him with a fatality. If you do kill him, it is forward, down, forward, high punch, but it is not right next to him. You have to be about a step away. So I took the map right there. You go back over here, jump on the rope, and that is it. We are done with the first level of Mortal Kombat Mythology Sub-Zero on very hard. Almost, we have to get top of the rope first. This game is only about 35 minutes long. If you are really good at it and you skip cutscenes, there's not a lot to learn in this game. Now with that said, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe. I'm gonna let this awesome cutscene play and I will see you on the next part. In honor of the Lin Kuei, I bring you this sacred map of elements. Once again, our most cunning assassin and thief is successful. At ease, Lin Kuei warrior. Warning. I see the ninja has been successful in retrieving my map, as I have foreseen. Let's get something straight. I am not a ninja. I am Lin Kuei. Scorpion was a ninja. Ah, yes. Your Japanese counterpart. How unfortunate that you happened upon him in your battle with those pesky Shaolin monks. Scorpion was tipped off. 
He knew I was breaking into that temple, and if he wasn't there, there wouldn't have been a battle. You are responsible for this sorcerer. Well, I've also retained Scorpion services. In case you failed, I needed some assurance. Your peace of mind almost cost me this mission. Enough! Quan Chi, tell me, what about our payment? Oh yes, I, I almost forgot. The bones of your arch nemesis, and leader of Scorpion's ninja clan. <laughs> our ancient foes vanquished in one transaction. And I've personally made certain that every last remnant of their clan has been eliminated. Forever. You see, Sub-Zero, you can trust a sorcerer sometimes. Now, you will use this map on your next mission. Quan Chi has once again retained your services. This map you stole. It shows the way to a temple which predates man's recorded history on Earth. For thousands of years, the Temple of Elements has been hidden in what is now known as the Himalayan Mountains of Nepal. This map is the only evidence of its existence. Fine. I get to the temple, and then what? What's inside? A small amulet. Worthless to you, but let's just say it has great sentimental value to me. If it is so precious, why don't you get it yourself? I cannot enter the temple until the four elements within its walls have been defeated. And I am not on the best of terms with the gods of your realm, especially your god of thunder. Tell me about these elements. Well, they are the four elements which comprise the very existence of your realm. They are earth, wind, water, and fire. With your mastery of the element of cold, you have an advantage that no other human has, and that is the ability to defeat the elements. I have foreseen this. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, if you hung out through the video this far, I'm going to go ahead and save right here. Now, I'm actually playing this on my PlayStation Classic where the game is actually loaded to it. So, that is saved right there. I'm going to continue this at part two where we're going to cover the most notorious stage in this game, in my opinion. Which is the absolutely brutal win stage. This stage right here was the stage a lot of people probably hung up this game but thank you for checking out this video once again this is you can beat mortal kombat mythologies sub-zero on very hard part one if you enjoyed smash that like button subscribe share with a friend all the good stuff you know what to do you've been here before ggs my friends much love headlock ted now for now but as always i will see you on the next mortal kombat video take care friendos